Hi guys, so this is my operations with vectors lesson. What I'm going to do is add vectors, subtract vectors, and multiply and or divide vectors by a scalar. I'm not going to multiply two vectors together because that's complicated and I'm going to do it in um, following lessons. So to add vectors, very straightforward. I just add the i components, add the j components, add the, add the k components. So 1 minus 5 is negative 4, minus 2 plus 1 is negative 1. 3 plus 7 is 10. So this vector plus this vector equals this vector. Easy. What that means geometrically is, imagine I had imagine I had 4, 1. Now I'm just going to do it in 2D because you can see it in 2D. But it's the same principle in 3D. But it's easy, a lot easier for me to show you in 2D. So imagine 4, 1 plus, let's say, 2, 3. So 4, 1 looks like this, 4, 1. This is 4, 1. Like that. Like that. And 2, 3 looks like... Oops. 2, 3 looks like this. 2, 3. Something like that. Now if I add these, what this means geometrically is if I put this like so, this plus this, this vector plus this vector gives me this vector. And if you look, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 4. And this is 4 plus 2 is 6, 1 plus 3 is 4. Pretty straightforward. Subtracting, not really any in any way more difficult except you could, some people are going to make mistakes here with these minus minus so there's one minus negative five which is six because it's plus minus two minus one is minus three and three minus seven is negative four all in a vector done easy let's do well let's do the same numbers four one but this time i'm going to do minus two three so i should get not 2 over 3, 2, 3. I should get um, 2, negative 2. When I'm subtracting, all I do, same kind of thing, I do uh, my 4, 1, my 4, 1, and then instead of plus 2, 3, I subtract 2, 3. So instead of going that way, I'm going to go I'm going to go that way, but I don't put it there now. I put it here. So this vector minus, let me just kind of do this. So that's what 2, 3 would have looked like. If it was 4, 1 plus 2, 3, I'd be up here, but it's 4, 1 minus 2, 3, so I go down here. And this is then, you'll see 2. This is 2, negative 2, which is what we expected. OK, nice. Next one. If a is this, find 3a. Right, this is straightforward. Um, if a is 2, 1, negative 3, then 3a. 3a equals 3 times this. Now I can write it like this. I can write, I can put the 3 outside like this. Or, which I guess he wants me to do, I can multiply inside the vector. So 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. Like this. And then 2 per i, i, a half a, a half a is a half of this. Again, sometimes when we're dealing with fractions, it's actually nicer to just leave the half outside. But if you want, just to be clear, this equals, it's the exact same thing as 1, 1 over 2, and negative 3 over 2. I can put the fractions in the into the vector if I want. And also, similarly, I can write i plus a half j minus 3 over 2k, same thing. Now, there's a f interesting property or important property with multiples of vectors. So, Let's stick with my 1, 4, 
example here is let me just get rid of this stuff here. Let's say I have one, let's say I have the vector or four one, the vector four one like this. Now if I multiply this vector by two, what I get is eight two. Now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. Now what can you tell me about this vector compared to this vector? Well clearly it's twice as long and it's um, parallel. So that's important. If a vector is a multiple of another vector, then they are parallel. So 8, 2 is parallel to 4, 1. Um, 40, 10 is parallel to 4, 1. And as well, you can say exactly how much bigger it is by whatever the multiple is, the scalar multiple. Next bit. If points A and B have position vectors A and B, now this, if you only learn anything from this lesson, it's this point here. This is really, really, really important comes up all the time once we do vector equations of lines you'll see this happening all the time if points a and b have position vectors a and b then a b equals b minus a now remember position vectors if we have zero here now let's say i have some point here a and i have some point here b position vectors mean that from the origin this vector is a and from the origin, this vector is B. So how do I get from A to B? Well, I have to go minus A or negative A plus B. So AB, let's just change it to red color here. Obviously, you don't have to change colors. AB is equal to minus A plus b because this i should have put this this is b little b so a big a is the point little a is the position vector big b is the point little b is the position vector get used to those um and sometimes you'll see points and position vectors being used kind of synonymously but be clear be careful that you know which is which there's a difference between a point and a position vector. One's a point and one's a, one's a vector. So here, anyway, I have a, b is negative a plus b, because I'm going to go this way, which is negative a plus b, which is obviously equal to b minus a. So that's why this is the rule, but you're going to use this rule all the time, b minus a. a. To get a, b, it's b minus a, provided these are the position vectors. OK, so there are the kind of three main or four main points I wanted to talk about. Um, I now want to do two examples that hopefully aren't that difficult. Okay, A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D is a trapezium. This is a trapezium. A, D equals 2, B, C. So that means, so the trapezium, just to be clear, this and this are the two parallel sides, obviously, because you need, um, you need two parallel sides in a, in a trapezium. So this and this are parallel. He says, AD is 2BC, so this is half the size of this long, this, this length here. AD is twice as big as BC. P is the point on AD for which AP, sorry, I've done, I've called that R, I should have called that P, one second. That is point P. AP to PD is 3 to 1. So this is like, the, the ratio is 3 to 1. The common mistake is to say that this is one third of this. It's not, um, or, or sorry, it's one third of, of the full thing. It's not, it's a quarter of the full thing. Because this is one quarter and this is three quarters. I'll get to that in a second. Then it says given AB equals V. So the vector AB equals V. Now notice you're going to start getting used to having your capital letters as um, the points and small letters as the vector. So this vector is just V. And BC is equal to W. Fine. Express in terms of V and W, AC. So what's AC? So to get from A, sorry, that I should have put an arrow there. To get from A to C, I go V plus W. So you just kind of walk along the lines, walk along the lines you know. So think of these as, if you want to get from A to C, you walk along the path that you know. So look, you go up V 
plus w. So AC is V plus W. Easy. How do I get from B to D? Well, B to D is negative V or minus V, because I have to go down against the arrow, so minus V, plus, now remember, because AD is two of these, two BC, this is just two W, so it's minus V plus two W. Okay, they're the, they're the, the um, easy ones. Or C, so, okay, how do I get from or to C? And again, why do I keep calling that or? I meant to call that P. I think I changed the point from the question that I found. So that is, um, that is P, PC. Okay, how do I get from P to C? So I'm gonna have to go this way. I'm gonna have to go this way, plus this way, plus this way. Okay, I can write it like that. PC is equal to PA, PA plus AB plus BC. Now AB plus BC is easy, it's just V plus W, but this bit's the tricky bit. So what I'm actually gonna do first is I'm gonna find AD. So I wanna find AD first. That's my first kind of bit of working. And I need to actually move this down because this requires more space. Okay, so first I'm gonna get AD. So AD, sorry, AP. First I'm gonna get AP. And AP. So to get AP, I need to find what fraction of, of, of AP AD is it? So remember what I said, if this is in the ratio 3 to 1, then AP is equal to um, 3 quarters, 3 quarters of AD. And we write it like that, 3 quarters of AD, which is actually equal to 3 quarters of 2W, because we know 2W is AD from from here, two of these. So this equals that we can cancel. We can cancel the two and the four. This equals um, three over two W. So that's AP. So PA, if AP is this, PA, and yes, this is deliberately a difficult, confusing question. PA has to be negative three over two W which finally gives me, I'm now able to deal with this PC. It's PA, which is minus three over two W, plus AB, which is plus V, plus W. And yes, you do need to simplify this. I have minus three over two W plus one W, which would be minus one over two W. Let's put the V first, so it's gonna be V, it's gonna be V, minus a half W. And what I always like to do is kind of um, just look at it. Does that make sense that if I went up V, up V like something like that, and then over a half of this over that way, does that make sense? Well, yeah, it actually does. That looks like it probably is the right answer. Maybe that doesn't look quite like half, but maybe my drawing is not perfect. So there you go. First two, easy. Last one, not easy. Hopefully it makes sense. Last question. This is easy, but again, I really, really wanted to make it clear that this is a, such a common, such a common uh, question. Points A and B have position vectors. OA equals this and OB is this. Um, fine, I didn't even write the question here. I wanted to write find a, B. So this is this that that rule that I that I said. This one. A B is B minus A if these are position vectors. So A B is just equal to B minus A little B minus little A. So it's this minus this. B minus one four three minus three one minus two. The common mistake people make is they go this minus this. It's always the second one minus the first one. So if they wanted BA, 
you do this minus this. Minus 1 minus 3 is negative 4, 4 minus 1 is 3, and 3 minus negative 2 is 5. Let me make absolutely sure I got that right. Minus 4, 3, negative, or sorry, plus 5. That is it. So that is finding A, B when you have position vectors A and B. Okay, that's it. Fairly long video. I don't think anything was overly, overly complicated, but lots of important stuff inside it. And, and it's kind of just building up your, your kind of basic understanding and language, vector language. Um, so you'll be able to, to deal with the more complicated lessons and problems that we're going to encounter. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Um, more vectors.